Ciao guys, welcome back to the channel. So if you're here, it's probably because you might have heard of Tableau before. Maybe you're a beginner or actually a very advanced user. And well, if this is not the case, just a very quick introduction about Tableau. So Tableau is a data visualization tool and is the absolute leader in the market. There are other visualization tools like uh, Power BI, ClickSense, QuickSight, but Tableau just wins over all of them. And well, this is because Tableau is super easy to use. There is this kind of drag and drop functionality that is quite immediate. And so, yeah, I started my Tableau journey as a self learner. But then recently I had the chance to work very closely with a senior consultant from Tableau Professional Services. And so basically I had the chance to really learn some tips and tricks that I really want to share today with you because yeah I have to say that sometimes Tableau can become a bit tricky as a tool and so yeah I really hope that these tips that I'm gonna share with you in just a sec are really gonna help you to basically yeah, make your life easier whenever you use the tool and well let's not waste any more time now I'm gonna cover 10 tips and tricks that might help you to create amazing dashboards in Tableau. So the first tip that I wanted to share with you has to do with the extension of the file, the Tableau file that you work on. So you might have seen this extension T TWBX, but not many people know that this type of file is uh, very similar to a compressed zip file. And so if you're interested to see that, I don't know, the data that is behind the dashboard, for example, an Excel file or even some icons and images that are embedded in this type of file, then what you can do is renaming the file, changing the extension. So you can add .zip at the end of the file. Uh, you use zip. And then what you can do is extract the file. Now, if you open these folders, you will see the Tableau file. And uh, well, within the data file, you see over here the Excel file that is connected to the dashboard to generate the actual uh, final file. So the second tip, now, let's say that you are starting to work on a new Tableau file and uh, you have already a workbook that you created in the past and you just want to use basically the data source of that specific file, but in a new one. So what you can do is go in here to new data source and then you go to uh, more over here. And now you can basically select another file that you uh, you work on. So for example, let's say that I have this file here that I worked on already and I just need a data source from this file. So I can open this file and basically here I can select whatever data source I already created. So let's say that I can import the second one here. And yeah, I click OK and the same data source that I used for that file is now appearing in the new workbook that I am uh, just created. Another thing that is uh, quite useful, so let's say that you're working on an Excel file and instead of creating a chart in Excel, you just want to be able to create a quick chart in Tableau regarding this Excel. So the usual thing is, you know, you open Tableau, uh, you open the data source page and then you should select the Excel file. And um, basically that is the way to import the Excel file and start working on that in Tableau. But a much quicker way is actually just selecting from the Excel file, whatever data you're interested in. So for me, for example, is this selection that I just made, go to Tableau and then just control V to paste the data. And in here, I automatically have the Excel file here already in Tableau. And also you will see that I have it already as a data source that is the, in this case is clipboard, something, whatever. Um, but yeah, this is a very easy way to import your Excel data and yeah, I can start working here in, uh, in Tableau now with uh, the Excel file. Another tip here is uh, still related with the copy paste function. So let's say again, I am working on a clean Tableau file and actually I already um, created something in a different Tableau file that I quite like and I want to reuse. So instead of recreating this file, if I want to work on a different one, again, I can right click on the uh, dashboard that I'm interested in. In this case, uh, it's called overview. I copy in here and then I go to the kind of the clean file and then I actually uh, again do right click and then paste. And in a second, you will see that what I've done is basically pasting in here the exact same overview dashboard. And also I transfer here the data source of that specific dashboard. So now, yeah, I have everything that I need and I can kind of progress on uh, work that I'm doing. And now imagine that I'm working on this dashboard with different worksheets 
and basically all of them have this region filter here so as you can see all of them has uh, have this uh, region filter and let's say that i don't need this filter anymore from all the uh, worksheets here so instead of removing uh, the filter from each of those there is an easy way to do that uh, kind of simultaneously so i go to the first worksheet and i right click on the filter and then i apply to all using this data source so now you see uh, the icon changed here and you also change in all the other worksheets using that region filter and what i can do now is uh, removing the filter from the first uh, worksheet so I remove region here and you will see that also the region filter has been removed from all the other worksheets so i don't need to go one by one i removed it from everywhere basically in uh, one click so sixth uh, tip here so imagine that i'm working on uh, this tableau file i've created this table but i remember that i created something similar in another uh, tableau file which is something like this and in this one i uh, quite like the formatting that i created in the past and i want to reuse the same formatting for the new tableau file that i'm working on so instead of uh, recreating it from scratch what i can do is just uh, right click on the worksheet click on copy formatting then going back to the new version i'm creating now and then click on paste formatting and there you go you have the exactly the same format instead of you know recreating it from scratch so another tip here you might have seen uh, the tooltip option whenever you're creating a view so in this case i have category and profit meaning that if i hover over these values here i see those kind of additional informations but at the same time something that i found very powerful is adding another view within the tooltip and the way to do that is by clicking editing the tooltip and in clicking on insert sheets and then uh, adding another chart that i created as well i can click on ok and now if i over over i actually see another chart that i created called uh, sales by segment and this doesn't stop here because the amazing thing about this feature is that the chart that is shown in the tooltip will automatically filter depending on what I'm hovering over within this particular chart. And so for example, now if I'm over over the furniture, I only see data about this uh, category named furniture divided by the different segments. And if I go to office supplies, it's kind of the same thing. So it shows me only data for different segments within the office supplies category so something really powerful that not many people actually use in their dashboard tip number eight regards shortcuts um, which hopefully will make you work way faster in tableau and i find that now i basically use them all the time so one of them is for example let's say that i want to work with the profit so if I don't do anything and I just put profit on the text, you will see that by default Tableau selects sum. But let's say that I want to work instead on the average. So the shortcut, well the Mac version, but also gonna put in the screen the Windows version, is to press option, keep it pressed, and also drag profit on the text again. And now you will see that I have the option to select average and then I click OK and now I see the average. Another a shortcut is the uh, using command to copy paste very quickly anything, any pill that you see in the dashboard. So this is what I'm doing now, keeping pressed command and then selecting and moving stuff around and just uh, copy pasting everything that I select in here. And then uh, another very cool shortcut. So let's say that I want to build a table with different multiple measures and dimensions. So the way that I will need to do it is to put uh, measure names in the rows and then measure values in the text and then basically just selecting the ones that I'm interested in and then right, removing the ones that I uh, don't need. But the easiest way to do it uh, is actually by double clicking any of the dimensions that I want to insert in a table. And then tip number nine, very quick one, easy one. Whenever you're done working with your dashboard and you know, you're ready to publish it or share it to your client, just make sure to click on here, this little arrow here, and then click on hide all news fields. And in this way, you, as you can see, now I have in my dashboard only the fields that I'm actually using in my worksheets. 
And this is also a very nice way to improve the performance of the dashboard because when you create the extra, Tableau will only include in that extra those fields that you're using and will just scrap uh, all the rest. So yeah, your dashboard will work faster. And then last tip, tip number 10, is based on the uh, Tableau server. So whenever you have to publish a new version of a dashboard that is already on the Tableau server, a way to decrease the stress level of you know making changes on a dashboard, republish it, and maybe realizing that you had some mistakes on that new dashboard, is to basically uh, use a feature that is called uh, revision history. So this can be done only when you publish a new version of the dashboard, keeping exactly the same name of that dashboard. And so Tableau, you know, when you are published and you keep the same name, will tell you that you can overwrite the dashboard to the existing one. And so if you do that, you don't need to create any backup files, so an archive folder with previous versions because uh, if you overwrite a version into the server, then you can check this revision history. And in case something went wrong with the last upload, you can actually restore a previous version. And there you go. These are my top 10 Tableau tips for you. And I really hope that you found something that is new or maybe something useful that can really help you to get the most out of Tableau. And please subscribe to the channel and also feel free to reach out to me with any suggestions or comments that you may have. As always, I will leave at the end of this video some links of videos that you might want to check out as well. And that's it from me today. Enjoy the rest of your day. Ciao for now and see you in the next one.